Good afternoon and welcome to Lunchtime Live. It's lovely to see you here this lunchtime. We couldn't get the technology to work yesterday and I was quite frustrated, but I said I have got a smile on my face and it seems to be working. Wherever you are from, you are very welcome. I am Reverend Daney. I'm from St Albans at Windy Nook and St John's at Gateshead Fell. And we've been meeting each day, each Monday to Friday, throughout the whole of the pandemic to worship God, to share prayers with each other and to reflect on a passage from the Bible. And it's lovely, we've got some regulars that join us, but we've also had some new people join us. And it's just lovely that you can be here with us. And for many, including myself, it's a highlight of the day that we get to join together in prayer. It's proved to us that a Sunday morning is wonderful, but actually to live our lives every day means to be worshipping together every day. The words for you today are on the, on the screen. Hopefully you can all see them. And the words for you to join in with are in bold. So let's just have a moment of quiet as we join together ready to worship God. We come from scattered lives to meet with God. Let us recognise God's presence with us now. As God's people, we have gathered in God's presence, separated by distance, but united in God's love. And so we say together, come Holy Spirit, Fill the hearts of your faithful people and kindle in us the fire of your love through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This service has become so familiar to many, but if this is the first time that you've joined us in all of our services, we have a chance where we examine ourselves. We spend just a few moments of silence just thinking about where are we with God? Have we walked with him um, as our guide today? Have we turned away from him and gone our own way and then thought, mm, that doesn't quite work and turned back? And all a confession is is an opportunity to just do that turnaround, to turn back to God. So we keep a short silence and then we say these words together. Father, we have sinned against heaven and against you. We are not worthy to be called your children. We turn to you again. Have mercy on us. Bring us back to yourself as those who once were dead, but now have life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Father forgive us by the death of the Son and strengthen us to live in the power of the Spirit all our days. Amen. Now our Bible reading this morning I've taken from Psalms. I love the fact that each day when we pray our morning prayers and evening prayers that we get a whole range of parts of the Bible to read. One of the other things that I do just as an aside is I try and read the Bible um, throughout the year I try and read the Bible in in one year and I have there's apps for it or there's all sorts of things for it this year I treated myself to a new Bible that's called Bible in one year and it's lovely because each day as well as the readings that we have from morning and evening prayer I get to dip into different parts of the Bible and follow that through so there you go just a little aside so today we're reading from one of the Psalms and it's Psalm 113, 113. Alleluia, give praise, you servants of the Lord. O oh, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above the nations and his glory above all the heavens. 
who is like the Lord our God, that has his throne so high, yet humbles himself to behold the things of heaven and earth. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ashes to set them with princes, with the princes of his people. He gives the barren woman a place in the house and makes her a joyful mother of children. Alleluia. I love the, um, the way that this psalm is organised. I love the way that it comes through. Psalm 113 is important in the Jewish faith. It's the first of the great Hallel, their praise psalms. So the, the praise psalms are Psalms 113 right through to 118. And they form a significant part of the Passover celebration right from early times. And these six psalms from 113 to 118 are sung as part of the Passover liturgy, as part of the Passover celebrations, when the family eats the meal and recites the sayings that, um, that they, they remember during Passover. And one of these psalms would have been the hymn that Jesus sung with his apostles in the Last Supper. This psalm would have been read by Jesus in the temple. They would have known this psalm off by heart. It was one of the ones that they just sang and praised and shared together. And the psalm begins and ends with the words, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's not about just a command to praise the Lord or even a statement or an exclamation. It's actually something that we are asked to do. It's a, it's a bit like um, something that we, we can do that, that goes beyond words. You know when you climb to the top of a mountain and you see the view and you can't put it into words? Or you see a beautiful sunset and you can't put it into words? You take a picture, but it's never quite as good as the real thing. When Daniel went to Honduras, he climbed up um, into the rainforest and went right up into the canopy, him and a few others. And the photographs from the top of the canopy are breathtaking and beautiful. But the experience of being there is beyond that. And that's a bit like this is. It's saying, praise the Lord. But actually, you know, we're praising a Lord who is just bigger and greater and more amazing than any of us can put into words. Trying to describe how amazing our God is doesn't really work. We fall short. But that's okay. Because God knows what it is we're trying to say. We're trying to say, you know, God, you are the greatest. You are the greatest, the highest above all nations. Your glory is high as above the heavens. You are a God who is mighty and we are weak. You are a God who is holy and we are sinful. You are a God who knows everything and we don't. You are a God who is eternal and we're not. But not only is our God gracious and great, but he also cares for each and every one of us. He lifts the poor from the dust, lifts the needy from the ash heap. He makes the bar barren woman abide in the house as a joyful mother. God isn't a God who is just there for you and me. God is a God who is there for everyone and when we read these psalms we can read them just remembering that jesus spoke them that they were the words um, that the jewish people shared or we can really stir ourselves up to praise the lord to actually get in there and to say you know you are our god and actually when we do that the joy and the um the amazing um, feeling that comes into us 
is again beyond all words. Now, I'm not saying that being a Christian means that we're all for always joyful. But one of the great things is that knowing these Psalms, Psalms 113 to 118, when we're struggling, when things are difficult, when we wonder what on earth is going on, if we just take our time and turn to one of these Psalms and spend time with God, listening, responding, a bit like I discussed earlier in the week with the Lectio Divina, just taking our time to let God speak to us, then we will understand that joy a little bit more. We will feel that joy a little bit more. And we can't help but then put a smile on your face when you start with Alleluia. Alleluia. I once when I was at New Wine, um, just a little story here with Russ, very first time we'd been to New Wine and some really good friends of ours were there, Sharon and Alan, and we were there with a whole group from church. And we just really got to know Alan. Um, Sharon and Alan hadn't been married very long. And, um, in fact, I'm not even sure if they were married. They were there. It doesn't matter. Anyway, we didn't know them very well. And we were there and we were listening to the preacher. And the preacher said something that Alan agreed with and Alan shouted, hallelujah. And everyone around us was a bit shocked because that wasn't something that we did in our church. But it was something that Alan did and it was a response that was just so um, basic. It just came from, you know, that's what he wanted. That's how he felt. He wanted to praise God. So instead of saying, you know, well, I agree with that. Oh, that's good. He just shouted, Alleluia. So every time I read a psalm that says Alleluia, I remember that feeling of, of Alan standing behind me with his Northern Irish accent shouting, Alleluia. And that's how these psalms should be read. So I'm going to read it again and just dwell in the words, spend some time in the words, praising God. Alleluia. Give praise, you servants of the Lord. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, let the name of the Lord be praised. The Lord is high above all nations and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God that has his throne so high, yet humbles himself to behold the things of heaven and earth? He raises the poor from the dust the th and lifts the needy from the ashes to set them with princes, with the princes of his people. He gives the barren woman a place in the house and makes a joyful mother makes her a joyful mother of children. Alleluia. And if you want to keep praise of the Lord, turn to Psalm 114 and 115 and 116 and 117 and 118. So let's continue to praise our God together. Amen. So praising our God, we continue in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. So now we come to our time of prayer. So let's pray. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we praise your name, O Lord. 
May your promise to raise the poor from the dust and turn the fortunes of the needy upside down be fulfilled in our time also, as it was in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, we pray that your name will be praised, that you will be praised. Lord, we lift ourselves, our towns, our homes, our places of work to you. That when we hear your name, it won't be through, um, through a curse, but will be through a praise. I pray that more and more people see the awe and wonder of your beauty. From the tiny perfect petals on a daisy to the beautiful sunsets and sunrises. From the mountaintop experiences to the still and quiet times in our houses that we spend with you, Lord. I pray that more and more people have opportunities to have those experiences and to recognise them as from you. We praise your name forever and ever. Amen. And we say together the Lord's Prayer in whichever form you're most comfortable with. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you for joining us this lunchtime. Um, it will be me again tomorrow. I am going to record something, though, so that I can enjoy some time off tomorrow morning. Um, but it will be me sharing with you tomorrow. And um, just stay safe. Stay well, and um, I look forward to seeing you then. And we say together our final prayer. Faithful God, may we who have shared in this time of worship glory in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, our salvation and hope, who reigns as Lord now and forever. Fill us, good Lord, with your spirit of love. And as you have fed us with your presence, so make us one in heart and mind. In Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.